Hello and welcome back to Tribeca 99's XCOM Enemy Within Classic Iron Man walkthrough. Uh, we are in episode 13. This is the second mission of the Slingshot DLC pack, Confounding Light. Uh, this is a very challenging mission, um, and so we've kind of picked uh, the best squad we can. Unfortunately, you know, we have a couple of squaddies here. One is a mech trooper. Um, the other one is an assault. We've gone with an assault here. I mean, we would really like to level up a sniper. That's kind of our highest priority in terms of what we need uh, from our squad. But in this particular mission, a sniper without squad sight is going to be a very limited utility because the team needs to be moving. Uh, you know, but we can leave a, a, a squad sight sniper back and in a good position with line of sight, and they should be able to uh, still be useful. We're going to use an assault here because of the extra mobility added by run and gun. Um, so really, this mission is on a timer. We need to advance up a train while mutons drop in around us and we deal with various, you know, occasional packs of thin men. Um, so we want a highly mobile team. Uh, we're going to take our heavy because he's one of our best uh, units and obviously our mech trooper for the same reason. But then the rest are a couple of supports and a su uh, sorry, a couple of assaults and a support who also has additional movement. So he should have very good mobility as well. Um, so here we go. We have laser rifles on both of our assaults that will improve their range and it is a much better weapon than the shotgun anyway. Um, so here we go. Visual on the mission site. Setting down. We're heading into China for the next operation. Okay. So, <coughs> it says turns remaining ten. I believe we have to Commander, win when it says one. Is currently on so it's really only nine turns, to respond. if I Using recall the correctly. Provided by Zan, Dr. Shen has developed a series of modified transponders that should throw off the alien's navigation... What we have to do... However, is actually move up this train, there are transponders in it, and we have to, they're sort of like meld in the way you activate them. Um, so we need to continue advancing, but as we advance, we're going to be encountering Thin Man and Mutons, uh, which makes it fairly challenging. So I'm actually going to go ahead, just because of the time constraints, and dash on the first turn. Now I don't want to dash too far, um, but I do want to get into fairly reasonable positions. Uh, on the first turn. Mm, that might be a little too far. Especially for someone who doesn't use cover. Um. Yes, Commander. That would be the first of the transponders that's showing me right here. to designated coordinates. You know, it would be nice to move further up, but um, I really can't afford to trigger the enemy on this turn. For that same reason, I'm also not going to move my sniper up onto the train. I'm just going to stay in front of the uh, ladder. That's where we'll be positioning our sniper, by the way, is up here with squad sight. Moving to designated coordinates. Okay, there's our first turn. So now we are going to start encountering On stuff. We'll start with the sniper here because we've got to get into this position. around the other side of the train, We're trying to stay in cover. Um, I think I'll position, yeah, eventually she is going to move inside the train. Uh, I will have the two assaults and the support moving up inside the train with my heavy on this side and the mech on this side, uh, and the sniper in, in cover on top. Uh, Moving to position. 
problem with being on the outside of the train though is you really have to be careful about being flanked. Actually, it's very easy to get flanked in any position on this mission. <coughs> Good to go. And the other thing is, is enemies drop in when you activate these things. <coughs> um, so it's actually possible to kind of activate them all at the last minute and then go win the mission. Uh, I'll have to see whether that's something I want to do or not. This is the train we're going to be using to move yes. the transponders. Oh, here we go. It's not ideal, but we'll have to place each of the transponders in a fixed position in order to ensure the signal strength. So where are those guys? They're over there. Yeah, we will have a uh, squad site on them on our next turn. I don't think most of the team can see them, though. Just me. Given that I'm the only one that can see them, I don't know, what are my odds to hit? 59 to hit one of them. I think I'd rather just hunker down for safety and put everyone else in overwatch. And the other thing I could do is run and gun and try and kill them, but I think we're, that we're better saving that, uh, possibly for next turn if we need it. And of course our mech hasn't moved, so we can go ahead I'm and do on the that. Take our first shot with the sniper. <laughs> Got him. And do we have line of sight on the other one? We don't, so we don't know exactly where he is. Um, so this is the first transponder, that's the second. And then the front of the train uh, is kind of a ways up. I think there might be a gap and then there's a third. <coughs> I don't remember exactly. So, but I think what we're going to end up doing is leaving one of our team members back here. Um, probably the squatty assault. Leave one of our team members back here <coughs> in order to trigger the two um, transponders right at the end of the, right near the end of the mission. Now, I don't really like my cover options here very much at all. So, I think I'm going to have to, m in order to advance at all, I'm going to have to come out to this side of the train and take an overwatch shot here. I should have moved an assault first. At least he missed. Alright. So, we have our line of sight. We'll try and kill him right here. Got it. Nice shot. Dead and gone. Um, okay. So now the rest of my team can keep moving up. I'm on it, Commander. I've got a visual. Uh oh. We're not in great cover situation for dealing with these guys, I have to admit. Yeah, they just They're flanked us pretty badly. So I'm gonna run and gun run in order down. to to get into cover and, and return fire. Headed there now. Fifty fifty. We're actually gonna wait and see. Um what kind of line of sight we can get, at least with our heavy. I mean, our mech. There we go, we flank one of them, so that's clearly the shot we want to take here. Unless they're in range of the flamethrower, it's actually probably worth... they're not. I was going to say it would be worth getting the 100% kill from a flamethrower, but we can't do that. So we'll go ahead and try and get this guy we have flanked. 
got it. Enemy target All right, so that naturally means, of course, we're gonna go after this guy. Got him. Perfect. Very nicely no done, team. Alright, we will continue moving up. Acknowledged. Okay, so we can overwatch with our last couple guys here. So we have to be a little bit careful about the strategy we take here. Okay, there's the third one, and the end of the train is right after, is one car further down. So it actually looks like the one that makes the most sense here is Zuzana uh, to stay behind <coughs> and try to trigger both of these in one turn. On the move. So we'll have to see whether that's... Uh, I mean it should be possible. With run and gun she can certainly do it. So the thing we have to worry about is that when we trigger these things, a bunch of mutons are going to drop and, you know, we don't want to get killed, uh, obviously. Uh, so we need to worry about our positioning. So given that she's going to start the turn here and then move up to here, um, I will probably try and position the mech and assault kind of in, in this area. And actually if we don't encounter, yeah, I think everyone's moved. So we haven't encountered any enemies yet on this turn, so I'm actually going to go ahead and dash the sniper up a little Moving further out. too to help out with our um, line of sight. Um, and we need to worry about <laughs> reloading here. So these two obviously can overwatch these two. And Locked definitely and he needs to reload. And I would like to have one of these two in Overwatch. Assaults have more need for ammo because of their double shot ability. Oh, We're although she, she doesn't have right course for the double city shot. We'll have to move quickly. I know, I'm moving, I'm moving. Alright. Here's the third transponder. Heading out. Copy that. I'm on my way. So what I'm actually going to do, so obviously this assault will be bringing up the rear. I'm going to try and bring the heavy and mech up to just about just a little bit past the third transponder. Mm, not great cover. And yeah, we're just gonna wait right here. So we'll be able to run and gun, move up there, and activate the second transponder in one turn. Uh, so we will just hang out here. 
and when we're ready to activate them, we'll, that will run and gun and dash up there and activate the second one. So we can just overwatch from there for now. Basically, everyone's gonna overwatch. And do I want to stay here and move up to the next one? I think I'll probably stay here. Might as well reload though, because there's not much happening. Advancing with our heavy. And here, so obviously I do need one of these two. Uh, I will use the rookie to um, to activate this one. <coughs> but we can move up. We can start further up and, and move back on the turn where we're, where we're going to activate it. Oh, is it? There's actually four of them. I had forgotten. Okay, so we have a thin man there. Let's see if our sniper can reach. Yep, sniper has a shot. Really good probability to kill, so let's just take care of this situation. Um, so there's that one and this one. That is quite a distance. I think we're going to have to activate them uh, with different units. Yes, Commander. Do, I don't think we can use the same squad number on both. I've got a visual. Oh, here's some more. Cover my flank. Okay, so a bit of a situation here with the thin man who's flanked us. I uh, don't seem to have line of sight on him right at the moment. See if our mech can get up for line of sight. Not yet. This position, I'm clearly going to get flanked if I stay where I am, so that's not acceptable. Um, so I think I'm going to have to dash into cover. But I'm going to stay further back. Okay. Where is he? There he is. I just don't think there's anything we can really do about him on this turn. Unless the flamethrower will reach, but it doesn't have that much range. Incoming bogies. It looks like they were air launched from the battleship. Here but comes some mutons. Commander, we're running short on time. That battleship is still on a direct course for the city. We have to get moving. Uh oh. Great, we have a panicked mech. <laughs> Hello, muton. Watch. Okay, so this is what snipers are for. Um, we're definitely more worried about the Muton than the Thin Man. We're also starting to get worried about time. So that's a hit. This is where we really wish we had laser rifles rather than conventional weapons. You know, it's awfully tempting just to go ahead and get the surefire kill like that. <coughs> I'm not sure we're going to need that rocket any other time. The only thing is, is that going to hit my own guy? It's hard to tell. Looks like not, but it will destroy the cover he's in. 
pretty handily. Can we spare it somehow? I mean, it's gonna take out a heck of a lot of cover. Sixty-five percent to hit, huh? Not great. Oh, but I get two shots. I do have the bullet swarm ability, so okay, we're gonna do that. We're gonna try and kill him without using a rocket. It's because I'm, I was not I'm worried about hitting my own team and destroying their cover and really messing things up. Okay, so I'll he just needs here. one last hit. We also want to try and get at that thin man. Looks like we can probably flank the thin man. I'm going to go ahead and do that with him. This is going to trigger some thin man in the cockpit, I think. Oh no, it didn't. I thought there were thin man up here. Um, but maybe there's not. So we'll kill him because we can. And now, is this our only option? Yeah, he's our only option for killing the Muton. And there's no way to get on the roof without dashing. So we're going to move out here. Moving to position. Oh, and he's in Overwatch. Please don't kill me. Okay, not dead, at least. Oh right, I had run and gun, I could have could have dashed up there. Now it's completely impossible. So I screwed up. I should have dashed onto the roof. I forgot about running gun. But we'll have to make do with this and hope we kill him. 74%. Okay, we got him. Awesome. So back here we're still waiting to activate these transponders. He could potentially activate that one, he could activate that one, and then we can run into the cockpit. Um, I think that's going to be the plan here. But wait, maybe we should do it next turn, because if I move... Let's find out. If I move right here, I can still dash into the cockpit, so we're going to activate everything on this turn. On my way. Here we go. Now, kind of the trickiest bit is this one. Good. That transponder is in place and operational. Once the rest are deployed, they'll begin transmitting so a signal we'll to confuse the gun. alien navigation system. If everything goes according Move to plan, up here. the signal should pull the battleship off course, leaving us with a prime opportunity for and an we can ambush. Operate that one. Keep rolling, Strike One. You've got two transponders left. And go ahead and Overwatch. You're almost operate there. Operate that Only one. One transponder left to be activated. Operate got that it. one. All of the transponders are now transmitting. And dash. Now you just need to activate the train's drive system. Nice job, Commander. It looks like all of the transponders are in position and the train is ready to leave the station. Once it crosses paths with the battleship, the aliens are in for a surprise. And we're done. Now, if we we'd activated those yet. transponders earlier in the mission, we would have had to deal with, I don't know, two or three at least more mutons, possibly four, one for each of the transponders. So we just made the mission a whole lot simpler uh, by doing it the way we did. If you can imagine having to take out four more mutons and still only uh, having two more turns in which to finish the mission than what we did. So great success, nobody died, although we do have some injuries. Take a look, see if we got any promotions here. And we did get a couple. Oh good, our mech got promoted. That's handy, he needs that. So 15 defense went in Overwatch. That is just that's pretty awesome. 
Um, but we're hoping we're not going to get shot at in Overwatch very much. Um, so we'll take this one, the Advanced Fire Control, uh, which is, I think, what we took on our last mech as well. Why isn't he in his suit? And here we go. Our sniper has been promoted. This is great. So executioner, you know, we're not. We're mostly going to be shooting at people with full health. Um, so eliminate the aim penalty on reaction shots and allows reaction shots to cause critical hits. That is awesome because Overwatch squad sight with opportunist is just great. We can snap kill uh, people. Um, losing that aim penalty when we're in Overwatch is great. So that's clear. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you with the next mission.